what we're doing here is just doing a little inspection on this cute little F25. See what our gear set looks like. Pinion isn't too bad, a little bit of crud. You can grab that shift pin out of there. As you can see, this baby was a little nice and corroded up. Nice and toasty. Quick little explanation of what's going on. It wouldn't stay in gear. Now, as you know, your drive shaft turns clockwise. So here you can see me spinning the drive shaft clockwise by hand. So you notice that forward gear is also spinning clockwise as we're oriented, which is the way that a standard rotating prop shaft would ro rotate. So as we're doing this, we are spinning forward with our forward gear. Now at the same time, you can see our pinion gear here. Pinion gear, when everything is installed, pinion gear is also turning our reverse gear. And so the only thing that determines whether the prop shaft is actually in forward or reverse is gonna be the location of our clutch dog. And so in the reverse gear, this motor's been popping out of gear constantly. With our reverse gear, um, we were, they would shift into reverse and as soon as they let go of the shift handle, it would pop right back out of reverse and go back into neutral or worse, launch into forward. Remember our pinion gear is turning our reverse gear, let's see here, counterclockwise means that the clutch dog would be engaging here on these leading edges here to turn up us counterclockwise. I know it looks like we're turning clockwise right now but as the prop shaft would be spinning we would be spinning in reverse or counterclockwise. So where you find wear and tear on these guys is on these edges right here. Quick illustration of what our issue is on this motor is again slipping out of gear. So this is our shift pin. It links into our clutch dog here. You can see in this little groove. There's a groove here. We're going to take all this apart so you can see better what we're doing. But so the shift rod on this one goes up and down. So when it does that, when you want to go into reverse, pushes the clutch dog down and engages the reverse gear, which remember the pinions already turned the reverse gear counter counterclockwise as you look at the as you look this way. So the reverse gear is already turning counterclockwise like this, which when the clutch dog is engaged will spin our prop shaft counterclockwise or reverse on a standard on a standard rotating gear case. So checking out what's going on right here. Press in like we're shifting into reverse. Now, as we're shifting into reverse, remember this gear's already spinning pretty fast. 700 or 800 RPMs in neutral. So you can see what's been going on. So the leading edge here It's a bit counterintuitive, but the leading edges are right here on our clutch dog. And you can see this edge, if you're used to looking at a new clutch dog, should be nice and very sharp, not rounded off like this. You can see all of them been rounded off over time because that, that reverse gear as it spins counterclockwise, this thing just gets locked right into it. And if there's a if the shift is out of adjustment, or you know, they're you know just dealing with lots of wear and tear, lots of repetitive use, it'll slowly wear away. And you can see the other flip side of this coin here is that our leading. So again, we're going 
this way with the pinion. The pinion's rotating like this. So our leading edge for the reverse gear is right here. And again, these should be nice and super sharp. And as you can see, they're rounded off. I'm trying to get it where we can see better here. Rounded off. This this should almost be a 90 degree angle coming parallel with the prop shaft. Or parallel with the bore of this. And you can see how how rounded off these guys are.